Okay, so here's the fun part. Now this is where we start looking at installing a component. Now what is a component? Well, it's simple. It's a program that plugs into Joomla. There are so many of them that you can do pretty much anything. So let's log in. Good, my login name worked this time. Now, in Joomla you have extensions. There are three main extensions, maybe four. One of them is a component. That's like an actual program and it's complex. Then there's a module and that's basically things that show up on the, on the pages in certain positions. And then there's a plugin, which is like a miniature program that works in the background. Then there's a template which is the look and feel. For the moment we're going to go to install and uninstall. <clears throat> now here it says upload a package file. Now understand in order, in this case, to get the package file, you either download it and store it locally like I do, or you right click on the URL like I taught you with installing Joomla and you paste it in here and the site will do it for you. <clears throat> For some reason I'm just given to installing it the manual way. So when we go in here, let's start with JCE. There's your component and there's actually also a plug-in part of JCE as well, but we'll install the component. There it is and it gives you a big message saying it's installed. And then we'll install the plugin. Now while we're here, we've probably got a few that we need to install, so we'll throw a few in there. Let's put Virtue Mart in, which is an online shopping cart, and it's free. One of the best additions to Joomla that's come out yet in my eyes. A lot of people complain about it but you don't see them going and creating a new version that's better. Now when we install this it gives us some details. The first step of installation was successful. Let's prepare the database now. In other words it wants to add some stuff. So let's click on go directly to the shop. We don't want to install sample data because there's too much rubbish to basically purge out of the system once we've figured it all out. So let's just go directly to the shop. It says, please don't interrupt this next step. It's essential to running Virtue Mart. In other words, it's doing some very important stuff in the background. So we click on that and we just wait. And there we go. There's Virtue Mart. Now let's we can we can play with virtual mart later let's go back to the install uninstall part say we install virtual mart by accident or maybe we've got an older ver version of it we can click in, we can click on here on components choose virtual mart and then just click uninstall and it's gone it's that quick now let's go back to the installer we're going to leave virtual mart uninstalled for the moment we're going to go to utools now I have a subscription to Utools which is a theming site and I want to I want to use the UMAPS module there you go now you notice when we're dealing with Joomla packages if you look at the front three letters it says COM MOD or PLG. So you've got a component, a module, or a plugin. Now we've done installing our stuff. Let's go to components and have a look. There's JCE Administrator. Now, let me explain quickly JCE. JCE is an editor, a WYSIWYG editor. So just like you use Microsoft Word, this does the same kind of thing. Now, a lot of Joomla guys hate WYSIWYG editors because they can be painful. Here's what I want to submit. If used correctly, 
and configured correctly in the first place, JCE or FSCK, which is another editor, can actually be very good. Now let's have a look here. Clean, clean up HTML, relative URLs. All of this is important, but we don't want to fix anything, okay? Because the code cleaner causes issues. We want to allow JavaScript and allow PHP, just in case. Here's the file directory path. This is where the images are normally stored. And it says no image will be uploaded over 1 meg. So that's 1024Ks, which equals 1 megabyte. Okay. It's that simple. So we click save on all of that. Now, if we want to use that, we need to go into User Manager. It's got nail on. Select Editor. JCE. Save. Now, if we go to the Article Manager, you'll find that my editor looks a little bit different and has a whole heap of extra functionality it didn't have before. And there it is, it's centered. So you've got all this extra functionality. This one here is to look at the code, if you really want to. But all in all, you can have quite a lot of fun with this. And there you go, that's components.